The beauty of the apple starts in the orchard with the blossoms. The fruit is compact, it travels well, and that old apple a day adage has earned it the reputation as the perfect snack. But one Okanagan orchardist is daring to improve on perfection. It's the great product you've always wanted without the, the baggage of it going brown. Neil Carter's Specialty Fruits Incorporated has come up with an apple that won't react like this Spartan did within 55 minutes of being cut in half. All we've done is turned off one gene in the apple itself, an enzyme that drives the browning reaction. But Carter has also turned off many of his colleagues in the fruit business. Why would we uh, go and embrace something that, that, that carries the, the negative connotations of genetic modification? The BC Fruit Growers Association is concerned about the negative impact on marketing and organic growers are mortified. It would be the kiss of death for, for the organic industry. The fear is bees, which help pollinate orchards, would drag genetically modified material into organic blocks, thereby destroying one of the brightest niches in the fruit growing industry. Well, I would lose my organic status. I couldn't be organic anymore. Carter disagrees. You won't see that pollen movement. And the debate has spilled onto the floor of the legislature. Will the agriculture minister and the BC Liberals stand with the opposition? <laughs> and the BC Fruit Growers Association and say no to genetically modified fruit in the Okanagan and British Columbia. But it's an issue of federal jurisdiction. In the end, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency will decide whether BC orchards are ready for a controversial science experiment. Kent Mulgat, CTV News, Kelowna.